hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys whisper it quietly but it's the legislative arm of the nigerian government starting to develop a backbone guys i bring you this we suspended buhari's 22.7 billion dollar loan request over southeast exclusion and this is gajabe amila the leader of uh, the house of representatives uh, making this headline so again the headline we suspended buhari's 22.7 billion dollar loan request over southeast uh exclusion and this is a headline attributed to uh Bajabe Amila, Femi Bajabe Amila, the leader of the House of Representatives. So now let's now see what a uh, green shoot of a backbone is being developed here. Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Femi Bajabe Amila, has disclosed that the suspended consideration of President Buhari's $22.7 billion loan request over the reported sidelining of the southeast the house leader disclosed this when he visited leaders of faith forum from the south south and southeast in abuja on wednesday march 18 but abe amelia stated that though the federal government believes the loan is important all regions ought to be captured in the spending plan he said if government believes that there is need for the loan i think we should support that because they know as they are the ones that see what is needed and what is not needed what i think for me is more important is the equity of the law and whether or not we are able to distribute these things fairly considering the very nature of the structure of our country i know there has been a lot of agitation about the southeast not benefiting from the loan it is one of the reasons we haven't considered the loan in the house i have discussed with the minister of finance and the dg budget office it is a matter that we are looking at seriously i am hoping that there will be some kind of amicable resolution so that every body will be carried along equity suggests that all zones must be carried along he added that they will work towards a fair resolution that will unite the country so now this guy now has the audacity and the capacity and the backbone and the bravery to take on malam buhari and say look and this is a yoruba man by the way i'm just mentioning that oh because i know the unzobo unzobo merchants you know they with their mindset but this is a yoruba mano say that no hang on you cannot uh, exclude the southeast from what this money is, is going to be spent on because of course when this money is going to be paid back the southeast would not be excluded from paying it back and indeed the 80 percent the bulk of the uh, resources of the funds and uh, of the monies of this country a good 80 percent of it comes from the southeast so you cannot exclude the money basket of this country from uh, what this loan is going to be spent on and then expect them to bear the burden of paying it back the bulk of it so this is really what is arguing for and is arguing of course in favor of the uh, Igbo section of the country being excluded from this borrowing conversations in the comment section the jam jawids uh, and their ways uh, uh, the uh, legislative arms now developing a backbone though is really where the question is and by the way they put this guy uh, in there to be a yes man but then of course this guy has never been a yes man this guy he was a guy man all the way from the united states when he was a lawyer and um, pocketing uh the monies of his clients and then just running away to nigeria and then he's found himself now uh in the house of representatives as the leader so this is some real guy man is a real guy man so if uh, Buhari thinks he's uh, going to play smart with the, this guy then he has to wake up very early in the morning to do that and this is what this guy is signaling to him now this is not some ahmed lawan uh that is some yes man 
this is a, a proper well-educated yoruba person conversations in the comment section uh the house of representative is developing uh, a backbone but then of course how far will this take them and where will this take them to is really where the question is come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i uh, drop a new video then come tell me what your thoughts are about fairness and balance and equity within the nigerian space especially under this dispensation of malam buhari and his band of merry men come tell me what your thoughts are about all this in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry this conversation on with you in the comment section but here i say peace